I highly doubt people will have watched to this point because I bet people will be like, old game, ew. Yeah, you got your sympathy stuff. They probably think you're a cheater too for getting sympathy stuff. The game gives it to me. What do you want? <laughs> like, sorry, the game is being kind for once. I don't know. <laughs> It's like the one time the game doesn't want to put your balls in a vice grip, and it's like, that's cheating! It's probably because we're not supposed to abuse the feature. Sorry. The game is abusing me. Well, you do deserve abuse. Feels that's why like you it. married me. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't know where I'm really supposed to go. I got that key card, but I guess I could go check the roof again. Because hmm. I'm kind of just stuck... I don't- why does the elevator not go down? I don't know. I don't know why it doesn't go down. I don't know. If we get stuck for very much longer, we're gonna probably have to figure out where to go. Yes. I agree. Ah! Oh my. What the heck? What? Uh, this is like... Ridiculous. They give you a gun, Jill. It's not like you can't use it. No, oh, I know. It's just there were so many dudes coming after you. That's I, how it is. I, I thought it was a little ridiculous. That's how my life is. It's a, a gay man's wet dream. So many dudes coming after me. Yeah, you love when dudes come after you, don't you? It's constant, so I don't mm -hmm. even get a chance to feel one way or the other about it. Mm -hmm. That's true. All right, so these I hate guys... these J jetpack men. Jpeg that... men. I hate these jpeg men that just automatically see you coming. Well, that's okay. It's whatever. Can All we right. go down? <gasps> Wait, can you not go back up? I don't know, but we're going to the base. I want you to test and see if you can go back up first. I bet you can't, right? No. Yeah. So you have to go to the other elevator to go up. It's really dumb. Then how would the elevator go back down to pick somebody up? I don't know. Also, what's that noise? Isn't that you pooping? Oh, that was Luna. Oh, I thought that was you pooping. That actually creeped me out. <laughs> oh, hey, look, a guy. Is it Dr. Madnar? Thanks! That's... That's it? Okay. You're welcome, I guess. Yeah, no worries, dude. Hey, do you think because we died so many times we missed out on some other items? I don't know. Who cares? I'm just trying to beat the game. I guess so. I just like getting items. Hey, yeah. I know, but I'm a little more concerned about the solid games and even Metal Gear 2 than I am about missing one tiny thing in Metal Gear 1. This is my favorite Metal Gear game. It's someone's, but it's not mine. It's someone's. Look at this good cat. What a tiny sweet baby. Maybe try your gas mask? Oh, there you go. Yep. Good girl, Luna. She's a gamer. Remember when she was little and she used to sit on your, like, thighs while you played games and she'd watch the TV? Yeah, she, she has video games. She doesn't really watch the TV anymore, does she? Not as much. I think as cats get older, they lose interest. You think so? Hey, hey you can blow that up. What about this one down here? Nope. Alright, so we'll do... Plastic. I actually like that feature. I think it's very cool. There's a lot of things in these games, or in this game in particular, that would have been mind-blowing. Oh, you think so? Yeah, when you were young? Oh, yeah. As, like, especially for, what was it, the 80s? Uh... Yeah, late 80s. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think this, for the 80s, is pretty impressive. Who's this? Thanks for helping me! The, the only way out... From this floor... Is to find the... North... Elevator! Period. Period. <laughs> Glad we handled that with teamwork. I thought it was funny. <laughs> okay. Um, gas mask, right? Bam, bam. No, no. Go that way. We're just testing the walls. Testing the waters? I think it's dumb you have to try all of these different key cards while you're dying. Like, why can't you just wear the gas mask at the same time? I don't understand. Uh, oh, hey, hey, this looks Madnar. like Dr. Madnar. He's giving himself a BJ. Nice! <laughs> He's like... <laughs> oh, oh, He's oh, giving himself oh. that Glock Glock 3000. Whoa, look at that! You fell into my trap! 
The real Dr. Madnar is on the second floor. Die, Foxhound! Ah, uh, not a trap! Fred is, like, really hard right now. What the hell was that? That was scary. Did you like my joke? Yes, but I liked how he said, By the way, he's actually on the second floor. <laughs> I like how then he fell through the floor. Like, what? Great, a sixth one. For us to use while we die. <laughs> what is Luna doing? I hope that the microphone picked that up, because she wanted to be in the Let's Play. She's so funny. I am the fire trooper. I'll burn you to a crisp. This also looks like Dr. Madnar. No. Oof. What do you mean, no? This is Dr. Bladnar. Bladnar? Does he have a bladder? Uh, well, everybody does, Jill. What a dumb question from you. Not everybody has a bladder, Bubby. You're being insensitive. Okay, let's do this. Nice, they killed him really easily. Uh, I wanted to tell um, people on the Let's Play channel that my grandpa uh, has bladder cancer. Oh, that's sad. What, 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 they don't want to know about that. Well, I wanted to tell them the perils of insurance nowadays. He's like in his late 80s, and the insurance basically told him that they wouldn't pay for treatment for it because he's too old. And he is going to die anyway, so who cares, right? They pretty much told him to get fucked. They pretty much told him to get fucked. But I found out that they'd be willing to pay for his bladder to be removed. They just wouldn't pay for the treatments to get the bladder to, I mean, to get the cancer to go away. Because basically the treatment for bladder cancer is they put tuberculosis in your bladder and it kills the cancer. Right. Uh, it's like kind of a whole thing. So they won't pay for that, which mm. has a high success rate, but they'll pay for getting his entire bladder removed. But our neighbor who is in his 80s, they will pay for. Yeah. Different. Different states. Yeah, but still interesting. I think it's really upsetting or ridiculous and my grandpa doesn't want to have his bladder removed because he doesn't want to walk around with a pee bag for the rest of his life, you know? Right, so is he just gonna die? I don't really know what's gonna happen with that. I mean, I'm not trying to be insensitive there, I'm just asking. I don't really know. Uh, I was talking to my mom about it and she kind of said, like, she thinks she, he probably has a year or two left, you know? And it made me kind of sad because I really like my grandpa a lot and I think he's a great guy. So he's just gonna die? Yeah, I think so. I kind of think so. Which is uh, very sad. Wouldn't, and it's wouldn't, pretty much the insurance's fault. But wouldn't you rather live with the bag than die? I thought we already got the antenna. I thought so too. What, did it not save? I don't know. I'm a little confused about that. I'm confused too. Now I just got it. What the heck? And now Big Boss is like, This is Big Boss, see? They're trying to jam our signal, see? I think that we must have died and then didn't didn't save it again. We are okay on this frequency there, see? Woo -wee. That's weird. Ah. But yeah, I kind of wanted to talk about that because I wanted people... You're going the wrong way. I was trying to see if there was anything over there. I wanted people in, you know, the Let's Play channel to hear about how shitty insurance is. Can I save the state? I mean, people know where I'm from. In Maine, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Does he have Maine care? Yeah. Oh, so, well, does your grandpa not have much income? Um, pretty much that's the only insurance that will accept people his age in Maine. Really? Yes. I thought they legally had to accept them now. I don't know, but, um, I'm pretty sure that's what pretty much every single person who's over a certain age in Maine has. Thank you for helping me. The far end of the water works is connected to Building 3. Yay. There's a Building 3, really? Yeah. Come on. So yeah, um, main care sucks. Main care is letting my grandpa die. Okay, well, yeah, and I, I completely agree. However, I also think that it would be better to live with a bladder bag than to just die. I think he probably will end up doing that, uh, but I think it makes him very upset, and I think he's trying to see about getting the treatment beforehand. And, and you know what? It should make him upset because it's inhumane and BS, and these Don't things... Don't you want to try to get that door? I can't. Yes, you can. No, I can't. If you go down... And then you go in the water, and then you swim, and you go up, 
and then you go that way, and then you go up, and then you go that way, you got the door. Alright. Mm -hmm. What about Dr. Doofenshmirtz or whatever? Dr. Doofenshmirtz has nothing to do about this. Hey, did you die so we don't have the antenna anymore, or are we good? But we have the antenna. Oh, okay. Friggin' antenna. No, we don't have that. Aww. Okay, what about going down and see what's over there? Yeah, I think that the this is the problem with running medical as a business. Yep. Because it doesn't care about human beings or family members or anything like that. You know, I guarantee the head of the, the insurance company, if their grandpa was dying of bladder cancer, they would for sure pay for it, even if the man was, like, really old. Oh, also, I, I don't know, actually. I'm not sure. I mean, the, the insurance company would. I'm not sure if that guy would care. Oh, you think so? Because you have to be so morally bankrupt to run any of these companies that they probably are like, good, just die, old man. Wow. I mean, you know that's, that's right. how I view them, at least. That's awful. Go to the elevator to save. Okay, well, we need to... There we go. Yeah, so that's kind of why I wanted to bring that up, because I thought it was really sad and ridiculous. It's, um... Honestly, there, there's really no words to describe how pathetic a lot of these systems actually are. Mm -hmm. And how gross they are. Mm -hmm. um, it's very depressing to me. When my dad was dying, they basically told him, like, well, why don't you just die? That's uh, what it made me think of, is like when you told me about that, uh, and then I heard about this with my grandpa, it made me think of how they treated your dad, and it made me very upset, because I... I, I believed you when you said that, but I had a hard time believing that they must do that all the time to people. You know, like, I just couldn't wrap my head around the fact that they'd actually say that to somebody. And the fact that they did it to my grandpa is not a coincidence. You know, that's a, they must do this to everything, everyone sort of thing. I guess. And Great. the YouTube channel. Yeah, but the problem is, would people watch you without me? See, that's the issue. It's like, could you just continue it? Well, I could, and would people watch it? I could cover up your death and get an AI voice that sounds like you. I suppose and, you could. And then just keep making videos of you and just not show your face anymore. True. That's kind of scary. I wonder if somebody can do that in the future. I bet they could. I bet they genuinely could. Alright, let's... The problem is, right now, it sounds too weird. So if it happened now, I don't think you could. If it happened in, like, ten years, I bet you could. Or twenty. Why twenty? Because twenty, it'll be even better. Ah, good, good. I got all my stuff. Do you think AI is gonna take over the world like it does in the Matrix? Uh... I don't know. I think that someday it's gonna happen. You do? Yes. It's scary. I actually think that AI can be a bad thing. Well, yeah, I think it could be a bad thing, too, but... I think there's a lot of really cool and good stuff they've done with it, but I think that we're t uh, going into the territory of them starting to do really bad stuff with it, and it scares me. I think the fact that the government could just make you say anything with an AI voice is what's scary. That's what I'm talking about with some of the bad stuff. Or, like, the fact that um, sometimes now AI art is hard to tell from, like, actual art from a real artist, too, and how... Um, that it, that could be something that they could do in the future with other things. I'm not entirely sure what, but I feel like there's something you could use that for to make it pretty bad. You know? Because I feel like once you start... Okay, getting... yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. I got it. I got it. Yeah. What if the government was like, we really don't like you, and they made an AI image of you, like, with a child or something? There you go. See? Once you start getting to that point of them making really realistic looking stuff, like the AI art... You can start making stuff like that. I knew there was something bad that could be done with it. I wasn't sure. It was on the tip of my tongue. You just said it. Right? Like, that sort of thing could happen. Not only that, but it puts also, like, artists out of business, too. Um, but, you know. A lot of bad stuff that can happen with AI. A lot of good stuff that can happen with AI. And I think we're getting to that point where they might be starting to do bad stuff, and it's really scary. Yeah. Um, you're gonna... There's a lot of dystopian stuff like that in the later Metal Gear games I think you'll find interesting about technology and the abuse of technology and how it can be a bad thing. And Kojima actually predicted a lot of these types of things with his storytelling that I find very fascinating. And scary. 
Um, I'm very excited to see some more of these games, actually, because I feel like the story is really interesting. That's why, to me, it's a shame that this game doesn't have much of a story. I think it's really interesting that um, Kojima came up with this whole clone thing, and then Star Wars stole that idea from him. I don't think Star Wars stole <laughs> that idea. They mentioned the Clone Wars in Star Wars Episode Four. They do. That was the very first Star Wars movie. Oh. How am I supposed to get over here? This is this part is a maze. Kojima and, stole the idea. And it's so... I don't think anyone stole the idea. Cloning has always been an idea. No, it's not an idea. Okay. It's my idea. I, they stole it from me. So what was the point of going over here? I don't know. Did the door not open over there? No. Oh, of course it didn't. Keycard 6 and Keycard 5 have been used to us so far, pretty much. Well, they've been... I've used them. Yeah, but not enough. Also, what is the deal with these guys? They don't alert anyone, they just try to run over you with their gigantic feet. Yeah. There we go. Let's and why try are these six. men blue? No to six. See, I know I've probably gone through a couple of these before, but I'm just trying them to see what... Oh, hey, hey, hey! Hey, we found a dude! Oh, thank you for saving me! You should be able to contact Jennifer from the Resistance on frequency 120.48. We should talk to her. Well, unless you're really high class, she won't respond. Oh. Well, she sounds like a bitch if she's not going to respond. So it was 12048. I have a four-star class. Oh. Right? So that should, that should help, right? Yeah, yeah, I think so. This is Solid Snake. Come in. Come inside me. Really, four stars in the high enough class? Yeah, she's a fucking bitch. How high of a thing do you need? We should have Solid Snake, like, sight or send nudes, and then when she doesn't respond, we should say that she was ugly anyway. That sounds good to me. We should have Solid Snake make AI nudes of her. And then leak them to the internet. And she's like, there are no nudes of me online. He's like, check again. See, I feel like they could do that, too. It's always a scandal when somebody's nudes get leaked. And they always call people a slut. And, like, people in South Korea have killed themselves over stuff like that. People everywhere have killed themselves over it. But, yeah. I well, mean, yes, I know. It's just, like, um, I, I was just kind of referencing a, a K-pop star, sadly. Uh, but, anyway, I feel like they could do that and have a bunch of people just kind of be revenge porned and then kill themselves. That makes me sad. That's true, they could. Okay, jeez. So... I'm gonna use AI to make your dick look huge. You don't have to use AI for that. <laughs> yeah. I, I accidentally fired. That's okay. Doesn't matter, right? No. Nobody's here. You killed everybody. Oh, hey, that's that door. Haven't we been here before, but we just didn't go through that door? Yeah. Because we couldn't get through there before. So I think we opened a shortcut then, right? Yeah, we did. It's like Dark Souls. Wasn't there anything down in that room? Like, down more? By or basement. No? Oh, no, I didn't mean the basement. I meant, like, you could have gone down in that room after you went in the door. I it would have just ended up to somewhere else where you'd already been. Oh, okay, I didn't know. Are you looking up a walkthrough? No. Maybe you should. Why, you want me to? Wait, wait, hey. Oh, good, somebody's calling us. Schneider! Finally! You gonna read his stuff? Um, this is the resistance leader, Schneider. This is the start of the gas room. Over. It's not, though. There's no gas here. Schneider. But it's in the other door, remember? Then why did you say it was the start of it? Because this is the starting room and then the next room will have gas in them. So, the door... Keycard... Does keycard uh, 6 not open anything down here? I don't know. It was. I'm just the best player ever. So we have to go down here. Yeah, yeah. And we beat this guy up because he's different than me. Yeah. That is how he we was do a different it. color than you, right? Literally, he was. Keycard six. Nope, keycard oh, one. I thought it was keycard six. You absolute before. Okay, that door over there to the right. That one. Yeah. Okay. Now this is keycard six. 
Don't get it twisted, it's yo. Five. Oh, it's five. It's six minus one. It's five. Okay, so kill all the. Oh, why are you going? All kill, of them. Kill all the dudes in this room. All of them? Yeah. No, I don't want to kill all of them. Kill all the dudes in this room. Why all of them? Because you have to. You have to. Yeah, to get over that door. Oh, it's the one over there. Yeah. Watch this. He's gonna come over here and be like, "What?" I'm like, "What?" And then when you stand in front of the door, I need you to call Jennifer, and then you can go in there. Jennifer, I need to use your body. Yeah. Okay. And then you'll use Jennifer's body. Uh, Stand in front of the door more. No, we can just call her here. Okay. One two zero point what four? Four eight. Four eight. Solid snake, come in. Oh my! This, this is, is Jennifer. Jennifer. I'll prepare my rocket launcher for you. Come and get it. Over. Oh my. No, I will not be tempted by you, harlot. Eh. Not the harlot. How'd they get in here? Uh, well, they followed me. Good heavens. And now we need ammo for that. Yep. Yeah. Mm. So, are we gonna do our sympathy tricks, or...? I don't know, because I'm worried that we'll lose the rocket launcher. Well, why don't we go to the elevator and save, and then do sympathy? Oh, okay. Wait, wait, is that how you get it? Yeah. Is that a good way to get it? I think so. Really? Yeah. They'll just give it to you for doing that? I think so. That's kind of funny. I'm pretty sure that's what happens. Just get there before you die. Oh, I got it. Okay. Okay, save. Hello, this is Jimbo. This is Resistance Leader Schneider. This is the start of the gas room. Over. <laughs> that's our German accent. <laughs> Did you like it? Yeah, that was funny. Can you get me back to the elevator that goes up? Oh, jeez. Uh, yeah, I think so. I thought you were supposed to be down here. Nope. So why'd you come down here? Because I'm trying to figure out where the elevator is to go up. This one? Okay, yeah. Um, I need you to go to... Okay. Go up one, and then go up another one. That one. And now we're going to go back to those bomb guys. Those invincible guys who run at you. Can you go over there for me? And I'm going to need you to kill them with the rocket launcher. Wrong way. It's down. Card six. I think. Is it not card six? But that was card six. I'm pretty sure it's card six. You just didn't try it. I did try it. It's card oh. one. Okay, now you got kill that guy with the rocket launcher. That guy specifically. You need to ra eat, eat a ration and run to the complete opposite side of the room. Actually, why don't you go down so he stops chasing you? Okay, now... Hey, there you go. No. Okay, now kill the other guy. Okay, now go get card seven. Okay. So now you can go into some different rooms. How would you ever know to do that? I don't know. What room am I supposed to go in now? I don't know. Why don't you try some? Do you actually not know? I could look. You want me to look? No, you don't have to. I can look. I just don't know what room we haven't been in, honestly. There's been a few. Well, the problem is I don't know. Okay, I, I might have an idea of one. One room we haven't been in. We also need to make sure to save. Mm-hmm. How are we going to get back to... Get back to what? Building one. I don't think we actually have to go there. Really? I'm not sure. I'm. That's why I'm looking. We don't have to save that guy's daughter? No, we have to save that guy's daughter, but I don't think it's actually over there. I think it's in a different spot. But he said it was in building one. I know. It's on the same floor that those guys were in. Jill, I know where that is, Jill. You do? Yes. Watch this. Really? Uh... <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, hey! You're in the room. You're just not on the right part of it. You need to be down. Jill, these constant um, nagging of me where you're making me feel like poop. Yeah. Key card one. Key card one. It hurts my feelings, Jill. Thank you. Okay, now go to that door right there. Yeah, and you use key card two, I think. Or five, or something like that. I think it's two or five. Okay. Yeah. Now keep going up and keep getting your feelings hurt. Yeah. yeah keep getting my feelings hurt. Yeah. Okay. Why, why would he? Why would you want that? Okay, now kill everybody. <laughs> we don't need to kill everybody. Oh, okay. Now use key card. No, actually, wait. Call Jennifer. You have to kill everybody so you can call Jennifer. You okay. gotta call Jennifer. Why are you telling people that? You, you know. Telling people what? That you are. That you know in your head where to go. Because I'm psychic. It's not my fault that these people aren't psychic. You don't have to kill those guys. It's but fine. you said I have to kill everyone. Just kill Je just Jenny. Call, call kill Je Jennifer. Kill Jennifer. Die, Jennifer. This is Solid Snake, Jennifer. Come in. Hide me. This is Jennifer. I'll open the door for you along with my legs. Over. Jill, what if someone heard you say that? Oh no. Jill. Oh, I offended them. You offended me. I'm oh, the person you offended. Yes, Jenkins. Okay. Hey, look, it's a compass. It's crazy, right? Ah, the compass. I mean, compass. Got Wait, it. the compass. I accidentally triggered everyone again. I probably went in and I was like, Biden is not the best president. They were like, no! 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 All right, so now we need to figure out how to get back to... To the elevator to save, yeah. The elevator to save. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, now. yeah. It's two. It takes two to tango. It takes three to tango in my book. But three is not three is not a crowd for me, I'll tell you that. Eh. If they're both hot, three's not a crowd, right? Oh my. Why do people say three's a crowd? I don't really know. Nobody would think that if they're both hot. That's true. Especially uh like the kings in the old times. That's true. I was born in the wrong time. Should have been one of them. I guess you should have been. Should have been. <laughs> 